Okay, let's talk about percent and if there's any one math skill that you absolutely should know to the fullest, that is this skill, how to work with percent uh, problems. And this particular problem um, may throw some of you, but let me go ahead and read it to you. 5.7 is 1.4% of what number? Now, there's a couple different approaches you can take to get the answer. Um, as long as you can get the right answer and you understand what you're doing, that's what counts. Okay, so I'm going to show you the way I like to teach this stuff here in a second. And if you want to calculate this, now again, you don't want to guess. Okay, that's not the point because a lot of students they'll say, okay, I got five point. I know I have to do something with 5.7 and 1.4. So what do I do? Do I go 5.7 times 1.4? Maybe I take 5.7 divided by 1.4, maybe I do some other stuff, okay? So the, the, the deal here is if you get the right answer, by the way, put your answer uh, answers in the comment section if you know what to do here. But um, again, you know, if you happen to get the answer right, if you didn't really understand, if you got lucky, but you weren't really in control of the concepts, well, then, you know, you just got lucky, right? We don't want you to be lucky. No, I want you to really absolutely know this stuff. Now, again, the way you learned percent in school, maybe that was 10 years ago, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, whatever the case is, if it works for you, stick with it, okay? As long as you know how to do this problem confidently, that's what counts. But you do definitely need to understand percent. It's such a practical math skill that um, I'm going to go ahead and review how to do a problem like this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And um, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you're struggling in mathematics, maybe you're not getting enough math instruction, uh, or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching style, Whatever the case is, I've been teaching math for decades. I really break things down step by step, and I really pride myself in trying to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you excel in math, uh, irrespective of where you're at right now. Now, if you're preparing for some test that has a math section, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, Alex exam, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have an outstanding homeschool math program. Um, again, you could just go to my math help, uh, my website, watch y'all leave the link in the description of this video. All this uh, information will be there. And if you don't have any math notes, you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But I'll tell you right now, after decades of teaching math, it goes without saying that if you want a great grade in math, you have to take great math notes. Okay, so let's get into 5.7 is 1.4% of what number? Uh, by the way, please feel free to use a calculator, okay, and put your answer in the comment section. But let's go ahead and get into it now. And before I show you the actual work here, let's just review <clears throat> a basic uh, percent problem. So we have 8% of 50. What is uh, uh, the answer to this question? So if I wanted to, to figure out what a percent of a number is, uh, something like this, hey, 8% uh, of 50 is what number? Okay, well, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is change our percent to a decimal. Okay, now how do I do that? Well, there's two ways uh, we can do it. So 8%, if you want to change it and rewrite it as a decimal, you can divide 8 by 100, okay? And you're going to get 0 0.08. However, now most of you were taught this way, and, and I think this is a better way to kind of remember it. 8% is the same thing as 8.0%. Let's, uh, and I put that there uh, explicitly, so you know where the decimal point's at. So 8%, the decimal point is 8.0. Here is a decimal point. So the way you can go from a percent to a decimal is you can move the decimal point over two places to the left. So that would be 0.08. Okay, so anytime you want to go from a uh, percent to a decimal, what you need to do is you got to move that decimal point over two places to the left, okay, or divide by 100, same thing. All right, so 8% or 8.0% is 0 0.08 as a decimal. And then all we're going to do is multiply or take that decimal and multiply it by the number that we're trying to find the percent of. So it's going to be 0 0.08 times 50. And we can use our calculator, we get 4. Okay, so 4 is 8% of 50. 
All right, so hopefully uh, that kind of you know rings a bell with you. You're like, oh, yeah, I knew that. Well, if you know this, then we can then tackle this next problem here, the problem we're actually trying to figure out. I love to do this using basic algebra. Okay, now again, if you learn this or if you remember how to do this differently, that's perfectly fine as long as you're like, yes, I know how to do this problem. My teacher taught me this back in 1997, and I remember this to this day, and I get these problems always right. That's fine. Stick with that way. I don't want to change what you uh, know. Um, however, if you are confused about this, well, this is the way I'd like you to kind of uh, approach this. So what we're going to do is take our problem here, and we're going to translate it or rewrite it into like an algebra equation. And this is not that difficult, so let's, let me show you what's going on here. So 5.7, okay, that's 5.7 here, right? That's what that is. Anytime you see the word is in uh, mathematics, okay, uh, is is the same thing as an equal sign, okay, is equal to. So 5.7 is or is equal to, so I'm going to put the equal sign right there, 1.4%. Now, again, I know I'm going to have to change this percent to a decimal, so I'm going to uh, write 1.4 as 0 0.014. So remember, I'm moving that decimal point over two places to the left of what number, okay? Well, a, uh, when we don't know the number in algebra, we just use a variable like x. So this is the setup. 5.7 is equal to... Um, 0 0.014 of some number x. And this is a better way to look at it. So if I wanted, if I, if I knew what this number was, I would say, okay, 1.4%, I would multiply it. I would change this to a decimal, which would be 0 0.014. Then I, I would multiply by that number. I don't know what that number is, so that's going to be x, right? But I know the answer is going to be 5.7. So look at it this way. 0 0.014 times some number x is going to be equal to 5.7. So that's what we need to make sure you interpret from this problem. 5.7 is equal to 1.4% of some number. Well, if I wanted to take 1.4% again of some number, I would just take that 1.014 and multiply by that number. I don't know the number, so let's just call it x. Now, I know I'm being uh, extra redundant here, but I want you to understand this setup because when you can um, you know, rewrite percent problems like this using algebra, then you can solve any kind of situation with uh, complete confidence. All right, so at this stage of the game, uh, it's important that you know uh, basic algebra and how to solve basic algebra equations. So let's go ahead and solve this now. So I have 0.014x is equal to 5.7. To solve for x, I'm simply going to divide both sides of the equation by 0.014. So you can see that's what I have right here. X will be equal to 5.7 divided by 0 0.014. And again, use your calculator and you should get this answer uh, 40, uh, 407.14. And I'll uh, kind of round it off. There's more decimal points, but this is it. This is the answer. And if you wanted to check that, you could take this answer and multiply it by 0 0.014 and you should get a decimal that's pretty close to 5.7. All right, so 407.14 approximately is the right answer. And if you uh, knew how to do this precisely, maybe you did it in this way, maybe you did it in a different way, I don't really care. As long as you are confident and you know how to handle these percent problems, then I must go ahead and give you a nice happy face with a good old 1983 Mohawk. That was a great year. And an A+. plus. So nice job. Okay, remember, when it comes to math, you know, as a math teacher, you hear this... Um, statement probably a million times. I've heard it uh, a couple million times, but it's like, hey, when am I ever going to use this stuff? You know, why do I have to learn math? I don't need to know this stuff. Well, you know, when it comes to percent, believe me, you probably use it on a daily basis. You don't even realize it, right? You got to really, really understand percent and not just the basic percent problems like this, like 8% of 50, you know, the little more, the, the more interesting problems like this as well. Okay, so hopefully this was a good little review about percent. And if that is the case, if this helps you out, go ahead and smash that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos on my channel, all basically from arithmetic all the way up to calculus. So if you like my teaching style, there's a ton of stuff on my channel that uh, can help you out. And I make these videos for you. But my best math help will always be within my math help 
program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.